Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Lim. I'm board certified in gastroenterology and internal medicine and part of the medical staff at Princeton Medical Center, Center for Digestive Health. Today, I'm going to discuss eosinophilic esophagitis, also known as EOE, a chronic condition that occurs when the immune system overreacts and sends an overabundance of white blood cells to the esophagus. The pooling of these blood cells causes inflammation that keeps the esophagus from contracting properly. Eosinophilic esophagitis is triggered by a food allergy, seasonal allergies, or when acid flows back from the stomach to the esophagus, also known as acid reflux. The condition can occur in adults and children. However, it's most common in men in their 20s and 30s. Common symptoms of EOE include dysphagia, difficulty swallowing, food impaction, food getting stuck in the esophagus, acid reflux pain that is often centrally located and may not respond to acids, gastroesophageal reflux disease-like symptoms or refractory heartburn, and upper abdominal pain. If left untreated, the chronic inflammation caused by EOE can lead to scarring and permanent narrowing of the esophagus due to formation of excessive fibrous tissue. If you experience symptoms of EOE, your primary care physician may refer you to a gastroenterologist for testing and a complete diagnosis. The diagnostic process usually begins with an upper endoscopy, a procedure in which a flexible tube with a camera lens is inserted into your esophagus to look for inflammation and take a small tissue sample for testing excessive white blood cell. Once the diagnosis is confirmed, your gastroenterologist may refer you to an allergist who can conduct skin and or blood tests to determine whether your symptoms are being caused by an allergic reaction and what may be triggering that reaction, such as food or something environmental like pollen, animal dander, dust mites, or mold. At the Center for Digestive Health, Gastroenterologists, allergists, and nutritionists work together to create a comprehensive treatment plan that's tailored to meet each patient's unique needs. The primary goal of treatment for EOE is to reduce inflammation and improve symptoms. If it's determined that an allergy is the cause of EOE, treatment can include dietary modifications, which include dietary changes such as the six food elimination diet, which removes dairy, wheat, soy, eggs, nuts, and seafood and shellfish from the diet. The goal is to remove potentially allergenic foods and reintroduce them one at a time to identify the cause of the allergic reaction. Some patients may benefit from elemental diets that consist of amino acid-based formulas which provide complete nutrition without triggering allergic reactions. Other treatments include medications that reduce inflammation, such as proton pump inhibitors or PPIs, which may help reduce EOE symptoms. Corticosteroids, such as budesonide, are also effective in reducing inflammation in the esophagus. These medications are usually administered through an inhaler or a nebulizer. Esophageal dilation, which is an appropriate treatment for patients with EOE who experience difficulty swallowing due to esophageal narrowing. The procedure involves the use of an endoscope and dilating balloon or plastic dilators to stretch the esophagus, which can improve symptoms and psychological support. Patients with EOE may experience anxiety and depression due to the chronic nature of the condition and the restrictive dietary modifications. Counseling or support groups can help patients cope with the emotional impact of the condition. Treatment plans for EOE depend on the patient's symptoms, the severity of inflammation, and the presence of other medical conditions. Treatment plans are customized for each patient, and patients should be monitored closely for symptoms and adverse effects. After an EOE diagnosis, the multidisciplinary team at the Center for Digestive Health will work closely with you to create a care plan that helps to alleviate your symptoms so that you can return to a better quality of life.